Hey guys, welcome to my channel. I'm starting a new series on healthy and tasty food spots to help you along in your healthy eating and weight loss journey. In my first video of the series, I'm sharing about delicious and easy breakfast swaps. First thing you might ask me about breakfast is, is it really the most important meal of the day as you may have heard? Well, my answer is no, not really. Some of our clients do not like eating first thing when they wake up in the morning because it's too early to eat and they don't feel hungry. We don't want to eat just because without honoring and respecting our bodies or we will get even more disconnected with our body, not helping us with our healthy eating and weight loss journey. Instead, ask yourself when you feel is a good time to have your first meal. If you wake up at 5 a.m. and that seems too early to eat, maybe 6 or 6.30 a.m. feels better for you, or maybe it's around 9 a.m. Of course, this may not apply for you if you have a medical condition like diabetes or need to take medication that requires you to eat at a specified time. Anyways, are you ready for these healthy breakfast food spots to help you with your weight loss journey? Before we begin, make sure to hit the subscribe button to support my channel and get notified each Thursday when I upload a new video. Let's get rolling. First, swapping regular peanut butter with powdered peanut butter. The first food swap I have for you is switching regular peanut butter to powdered peanut butter. Have you ever tried powdered peanut butter before? What is it? You might be asking. Powdered peanut butter has the same nutty taste as regular peanut butter, except in production, the roasted nut has most of its natural oils pressed out of it, and then it is ground into a fine powder. The powdered peanut butter is then rehydrated with water by the user before eating. Because the oils are removed from the nuts, the calories are significantly reduced, still providing the nutty taste. Regular peanut butter offers 180 calories and 7 grams of protein for 2 tablespoons. On the other hand, powdered peanut butter only has 60 calories and 6 grams of protein for 2 tablespoons. This means that by having powdered peanut butter over regular peanut butter, you can reduce calories by 120 and have the same amount of protein. This is the best alternative when making smoothies, adding it to your oatmeal for breakfast, or in baking or in a recipe. You can also use powdered peanut butter for dips, like this easy peanut dip recipe here. For toast or bread, you'll find that it is thinner in consistency than regular peanut butter, so it's a little bit more runny and doesn't have as much fat. You can fix that by altering the ratio of powder and water. Have you tried powdered peanut butter before? Let me know in the comments below. Two, cow's milk and plant-based milk. The second food spot for breakfast is choosing plant-based milk instead of cow's milk. On average, cow's milk can range from 90 to 130 calories per cup for skim to 2% fat milk. The protein is exactly the same at 9 grams per cup, independent of fat levels. While unsweetened, plant-based milk can range in calories from 25 to 90 calories per cup, and protein can range from 1 to 8 grams of protein per cup. Unsweetened almond and cashew are the lowest calories at 25 to 30 calories per cup. However, they also have the least amount of protein at 1 gram per cup. While unsweetened soy has 90 calories per cup and 8 grams of protein. Fortified plant-based milks are comparable to cow's milk for calcium, vitamin A, and B12. Look for the words fortified on the label or look at the nutrition facts table to ensure that you're getting the calcium and other nutrients that are added in the plant-based milk. My personal preference is almond milk for taste and texture. I have an entire video on the nutritional analysis and taste of various brands of plant-based milk. You can check out that video here. Although almond milk is lower in protein, I'm able to have protein from other food sources in my breakfast, like from egg whites, yogurt, cottage cheese, or some cereals. Plant-based milks are also a great alternative to cow's milk because you are adding more plant foods to your diet, which is healthier because of the much lower saturated fat content for heart health. I use almond milk the same way I have cow's milk cereal for preparing oatmeal and smoothies. What's your favorite plant-based milk? Let me know in the comments below. Granola versus high fiber cereal. Still tastes good. Finally, the last swap for breakfast to help you with your healthy eating 
and weight loss journey is having a high fiber cereal instead of granola. You might be thinking, but Adrian, isn't granola healthy? It's full of nuts, oats, seeds, dry fruits, and it just looks so natural and wholesome. Correct. Granola is usually made from all of those wholesome ingredients. However, granola is often also packed with sugar, like honey, brown sugar, or maple syrup, and oil. They mix the wholesome dry ingredients together with sugar and oil and bake it. That's why it's so crispy and sweet. The calories can be quite high for a small portion, like 300 calories for half a cup and up to 15 grams of sugar and only providing three to four grams of fiber and maybe a five grams of protein. While a higher fiber and protein cereal, like the original Goline from Kashi, is just 170 calories for an entire cup and has seven grams of sugar, 11 grams of fiber, and 10 grams of protein. If you enjoy granola, maybe try mixing it with a higher fiber and protein cereal. Then you can eat more, and it still tastes good, and you're getting the feelings of fullness from the high fiber and protein. You can also enjoy this cereal with yogurt and fruit to make it a parfait. I hope you found this video helpful. Making some simple swaps during your breakfast can help you reduce your calories throughout the day and make weight loss easier. With that said, remember that you can still include the other foods, just be careful with the portion size and the rest of your eating choices. If you like this video, don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe button. I'll see you in my next video.